But then we got a massive problem when we look in the boot. Let me open it up. Now guys, none of this is a pop at Copa. I wasn't gonna do this video, but I wanna do this video so that you guys can see. It's not all fun and games, it's not all happy days when it comes to salvage. Yeah. I really regret it. I really regret it. I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit I'm a bit Yeah? Uh, guys, I got caught slipping. I always say in all of my videos, do your checks before you bid. Let me explain. Let me explain. So unknown to me earlier that week, I was about to embark on a crazy nightmare without even realizing. Whilst browsing on Copa Auto Auctions, I saw a car that I had done all my research, I bidded and I didn't get it. The next car up was this lovely car and I stupidly bidded without looking at the additional info. Had I did, I would have seen all of this. Do you see? Now I saw all of this information after the fact and if I didn't pay, I would have been issued with a £700 realist fee. Anyway, I got the car delivered and this happened. We got the young bucks to help us, yeah? <laughs> oh my God, my God. This is my new 2017 BMW 420i. The car looks stunning, the interior looks stunning, and it's got a very lovely spec. Have a look at everything, it looks amazing. But on delivery day, as I began to unpack everything, it just gets worse. So guys, now that you understand my predicament, let me show you around the car and... Ah, yeah, I'm a bit annoyed about this one, but what can you do? Let's go around the car and tell me what you think. Alright you guys, so it's the next day here and it's a very gloomy day today in London. Have a look, but it's gloomy for more than one reason because I bidded on this BMW just on the whim and yeah, I really regret it. I really regret it. Let me show you everything that's wrong with this 2017 BMW 420i. So guys, we're going to start from the front of the car and make our way around. Now have a look front of the car there's no damage whatsoever you've got a few cracks on the bumper down here but that's nothing too major the bonnet no problems headlights no problems these are the latest led headlights for this model um no issues and i was thinking yeah alloys and tires no problems now if you step back have a look at the side the side there's no damage everything looks all good coming around to the rear there's no damage there either the boot Wait until you see what's in the boot. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that soon. Oh my God. Have a look at the rear bumper. No damage. This rear quarter panel, there's no damage. So on and so forth. Get to the interior of the car. Look, everything is immaculate. No problems whatsoever. But then we got a massive problem when we look in the boot. Let me open it up. <laughs> Have a look at this. Now I'm laughing, but inside I'm actually crying. I'm crying, trust me. Uh, have a look at all of this. So this seems to be charge air cooler. That's a mess. Engine starter. I think this is the throttle body, throttle control. You get where I'm going with this. Front braces. Have a look, engine plastics. These are all parts of the engine cover. Let me bring you a bit closer because there's so many parts in there. I can even see the DPF and the catalytic converter. What is this? Oh, come on. Oh my God. Oh my God. You see, I thought it was just surface. Guys, what is this? What is this? This is one of the pistons from the heart of the engine. That means the engine's no good on this car. 
Let's continue raveling through all of this stuff. So as you can see, like I said, we've got pistons. But what is all of this? This is some sort of water coolant pump. This is definitely a petrol pipe. I know that for a fact. Those are the high pressure petrol pipes. Oh my God, more pistons. And it just gets worse. This is definitely one of the sprockets off the timing chain. So someone has completely stripped down this engine. This engine is no good. Have a look at that. This is some sort of oil cooler for the engine. Um, you can see the coolant goes in on that side and the oil connects on that side. And that's why it's a little bit oily in there as well. Okay, I need to sift through all of that, but let me open up the bonnet and show you this engine. Because I definitely didn't expect that. Ah, oh, come on. Have a look at that. So even though the picture shows that there's an engine and it appears to have an engine in the car, as you can see, the internals of this engine are in the boot. So guys, coming into the engine bay, it does say stripped, but this is stripped. Have a look, even look at the engine mounts. You can tell that the car was out, of, the engine was out of the car, sorry. They've not even replaced the nuts to secure the engine in the car. I guarantee if you put this on the engine hoist and just lift it, it's gonna pop straight out. There's confirmation. That's the exhaust pipe down there. I don't know if you can see that. Exhaust pipe is down there. Catalytic converter and the inlet manifold should be sitting kind of in this region. That's all gone. Um, the rads are good. The rads are all good. Fan is all good. But all the connecting pipes from the rad to the engine, um, bar this one, that's all gone. Twin power turbo. Are the turbos present? Oh my God. Have a look at all of that. Strip, 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 stripped. That's that uh, inlet manifold that I saw. And where's the turbo? I'm pretty sure the turbo should be here. Turbo's gone, bloody hell. Is it in the boot? Cheeky buggers, they took the turbo. Actually, no, 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 happy days. I think I can see the turbo, one second. Oh my God, I literally, they've properly stripped this down. Wow, <laughs> it's got a complete engine in the boot, guys. Complete engine in the boot. Ridiculous, wow. Wow. Now, have a look all the way down here. That's the cat. And if you look at the very tip there, that is the turbo up there. So it has got the turbo. Now guys, none of this is a pop at Copart. It was my duty to have a look in the additional information. And if I had prior to bidding, I would have seen. It says it doesn't turn over. It doesn't start. It doesn't run and drive. Like I always say this in my videos, don't get cars with no damage because if the car's got no physical damage, why is it on Copart? And you know what? If you're not clever and if you're not smart and if you're not vigilant, you can get done. So guys, I've got a bit of a predicament. Um, I'm a bit stuck actually. I've got a few options. Now I know it's pointless complaining to Copart because they're gonna have in the small print, they've actually got it. It's up to the buyer to do your checks, etc., etc. And I wasn't even gonna do this video because I was so gutted, but I decided to do the video so that you guys won't make the mistakes that I made. I always preach about this and I didn't even follow my own advice and now I'm in this predicament. Um, I can buy an engine for, let's say three grand. I had a quick look, roughly about 3K. You've seen, I've showed you and I'll show you again. This car owes me seven, seven I believe it was, plus fees. It all came up to 8,500 pound, plus 150 quid delivery. 8.6 this car owes. That one there was a violation, personally I wouldn't have it. If I buy an engine for 3K, let's say 11.6, I can fit it myself. Um, I've done a lot of these engines. I've just changed uh, M140 engine. That's a massive, massive lump. This engine is a lot smaller, so it should be a bit easier. Half the job is done, so I, I, I can do the labor. I can do the labor, save a bit of cost there. But an engine's gonna cost me about 3K. Fit that engine. 
What's the car worth after that? I believe it's a category in. Um, normally I'll have a few cars in my watch list. I'll do all my checks. But this one, I was a bit annoyed. How many times has this happened to you guys? If it has happened to you guys, I was bidding on one particular car. I didn't get it. I was a bit gutted. And then I saw this one just pop up in the live auction. And instead of reading and checking everything properly, I just, this finger, ah. <laughs> I just bidded and I won it. And I was happy until I read it properly. But by then I had already won it. It was on my account, etc., etc. And here we are. So um, another option that I've got is I can break it down for parts. However, that's the long game because I'm gonna have to wait and wait and wait and sell a little something here, a little something there. I'm sure I can sell the front end for a couple of quid. I'm sure I can sell the doors, but they're only two. Um, maybe the airbag kit will fetch something. But after you sell those main bits, it slows down. I've done this quite a lot in the past and it's actually the long game. You've got the parts that are of value, but you need to find a buyer who values the parts and who needs the parts that you're selling. It's, it's just long. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit I'm a bit What can I say? But I want you guys to let me know what you think I should do. Give me some inspiration. I try to inspire you a lot. Give me some inspiration because I messed up, messed up big time on this one. And yeah, <clears throat> that realization is starting to set in. Lovely looking car. I got gassed in the auction and um, made the cardinal sin. Yeah, give me a minute. Yeah. Yes, guys, so it's a few days later. I, I never came back. I just walked away, left it. And this car is now sat in the graveyard that is the S in <laughs> waiting room. Now I can smile and laugh about it, but I, I feel physically sick. Let me know, what do you think is the best option? Um, like I said, I'm giving you these gems. This video is all about trying to help you not make the same mistake that I made. And this is a big mistake, man. 8,006 in the hole, like I said, peak times. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap up now. There's not a lot left to say, so I'm gonna wrap up now. Let me know what you think I should do. What do you think the best option is? Come next week, it's now Saturday the weekend, so come next week, I'm gonna try to come up with a plan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to come up with a plan. Um, yeah, not a lot more to say, man. I, I didn't do my checks, I made a mistake, and now I'm 8-6 in the hole. And on that bombshell, I'm gonna leave it there. So I can always say, keep it moving. I definitely need to keep it moving and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, why don't you check out one of my previous videos on the left, there's plenty in the playlist. And if you wanna know more about the salvage game, why don't you become a member of Salvage Nation and I'll be there to guide you along the way. And don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, TikTok and Instagram if you wanna get an inside scoop before YouTube.